So I got you here, man, and I'm asking everybody this. What's the correlation between music, tattoos, and motorcycles? Honestly, I think it's an artistic uh, vein that probably connects with the three because as a musician, you are an artist. Right. As a tattoo artist, you're definitely an artist. And with motorcycles, you can be an artist. I mean, right. man, I've seen guys make something beautiful out of nothing. Right, right. So I think it's just an artistic side of people. Maybe, I guess, creativity. Right. An outlet, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, I mean, I've seen some dudes that were excellent musicians, and they were shit everything else. I've seen bike builders that were could build and they were shit everything else. Same thing with tattoo artists, man. They, they, they're great tattoo artists, but, man, they're horrible people. Or, I mean, you know, <laughs> right, right, right. Right, right. they're either... I mean, I know a lot of them that you know, balance it out. But. I think I fall in the category more, like all, even along this trip, we've seen some artists, and that's some right. artists that are definitely artists. And, and with that artist comes a little social awkwardness, you know? Yes. I think I was a businessman before I ever started a tattoo. I mean, I always loved art and stuff, but right. somehow I developed some social skills. I look at a tattoo artist as a uh, psychiatrist that's that's pretty cool right because i mean man i've i've sat I've, and i've watched hundreds of tattoos i've been right. tattooed and man it's almost like you know people talk to you right you know, right right oh yeah and, and, and man you never know what the fuck you're gonna hear you know and you know what's cool about that is the bond that i get with my customers like it took me years to realize this like somebody comes in to get a tattoo and they end up talking about their personal lives and then I end up changing their body forever. And normally right. they're really happy with it. There's been a couple that have been, but normally right. they walk away feeling better. So they'll like never forget me, you know? Right. And then there's this bond that they have with me, which is incredible, you know? Every tattoo I have, man, I, I remember exactly when I got it, exactly who did it. Right. You know, and, and I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not a tattoo artist. Right. I, I'm just a guy that's heavily tattooed. But man, when I hear these people tell me, "Oh, you know, this, this right here signifies whatever, dude. I got it to look cool, and I got it to get laid." I mean, my sh has no rhyme or reason. Yeah, I know you're heavily involved in the motorcycle scene. Like, where did that come from, and how did that get started? Been around Harley's my whole life, man. I mean, pictures of me and my dad. I was, you know. One or two years old, sitting on the seat or up on the gas tank. Growing up, a lot of my friends didn't have the kind of upbringing I had. So when they would ride, you know, they might be on a Yamaha or a Suzuki. So I rode with those guys, and I kind of and I, I developed the attitude that two wheels beats four wheels any day. Right. As long as you're riding a motorcycle, you're all right with me. Right. How many bikes do you have? Do you personally own? You know, you know dude's got a collection when he's got a count. How many bikes do you have? Um, let me... I got nine bikes. Nine motorcycles. And probably enough to build maybe four or five more. I've owned probably 20 different motorcycles in my life. And I'm only 39. But my dad brought me home my first street bike when I was 13. So yeah. it took me a while to get my first Harley. On my chopper, I experienced things that I could never experience on my road glide. But on my road glide, I experienced things that I could never experience on my chopper. I know exactly what you're talking about because I've had a lot of shit from people over the years. Right. I mean, man, I'll ride my knucklehead somewhere and uh, people will be like, oh man, that's so cool. And then they'll see me on my FXR or something. They're like, what are you doing riding that? You know, you got to ride this or you got to ride that. And I'm like, yeah, f that. I got more miles backing up to the curb at the bar than you'll ever have going forward. So f you. I ride whatever the f I want because they're usually the ones that when you ask them where their bike is, oh, I'm building it. Right. Really? Well, right. you've been building it for two mother years. Well, I'm not riding. Yeah. Right. I had a kick only jockey shift shovel head with no front brake that I had for about a year and I rode it twice. Yeah. Because I want to be able to get on and go. I'm okay. one of the people, I just want to be able to get on and go. And it was cool as f well, but I, I need to get on and I want to go. Well, you know, I've built bikes for a few different people. You know, I'd always tell them, hey, take a stock running motorcycle or get a running motorcycle and customize it as you can. Right. Because if this is the first time you've been, you're building something, you're, you're gonna be in for a big surprise. <laughs> right. A motorcycle will nickel and dime you to f death. Right. I mean, 
50 bucks here, 100 bucks there. Two, I mean, right. next thing you know, you're 10 grand deep in the mother and you're still 10 grand away from cranking it up, riding down right. the road right. at highway speed. Right, right. And, you know, they'll be like, oh, fuck that, I know what I'm doing. Go for it, bro. I was asking Bill, I, I really want Bill to build me a bike. Uh -huh. So, but I really want an Evo or above motor in it. Yeah. I just want the reliability. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not a wrench. I've never been able to, I didn't grow up, my dad bought me a motorcycle, but he, he didn't wrench on his shit. My buddies, my all my buddies' dads did, so when my bike broke down, I took it to a buddy's dad yeah. to wrench, but I just never have had that knowledge, you know? And luckily I tattoo, and a lot of people that wrench like yeah. tattoos, so. Well, man, I appreciate you uh, coming hey, and hanging hey, out. Hey, no problem. I'm glad I got to finally right catch on, up with you guys. Right on, bro. Thank uh, you so much, No man. problem, man. I wish to God I could go on yeah, this smoke. Awesome, you again, man. All of you. I'm taking your hand, too. Your hand, too. Your hand, too. Hey, this is Big Dave. If you want to stay in touch, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for all new content.